This morning I want to talk about picking a builder. Over the last year, two years that we've been working on on several different development projects as we're developing roads and creating lots and then seeing homes come in behind us as houses start to get built. It's been interesting to talk to homeowners about their experience with a builder. Some of the things that I that I keep hearing are, um, for example, they wish they would have spent more time vetting the builder before they decided to go with the builder. Some of them, it's interesting that they wish they got a higher level of quality out of their builder. There, there wasn't an issue with the price, but they wish they would have gotten a higher quality product. There's other issues like timeliness, responsiveness, do they pick up the phone when you call them? Other issues about not being allowed to be on site um, without the builder present. There's, there's a lot of quirks with a builder. It's, it's a funny thing that as I talk to people, it's like talking to my friends back in high school about different girls that they were dating. And there's always a punch list of things they like and things they don't like and trying to sort out those types of things. What, what's going to work best for you is most important. So I wanted to talk today about some of the things that you should consider as you're out looking for a builder. I thought I had the whole place to myself. One of the things that I think is really important is that we get away from the bottom dollar or the price as the most important thing because there are so many other factors that come into building a house. Hey, keep it down. One of those one of those things that is out there is the timeline. For example, I've seen people hunt and 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 get multiple bids from lots of different builders looking for the lowest price. Only to find that that the lowest price quoted up front wasn't the price that they finished with. So, looking at a builder that will lock in a price and build budgets that are really achievable budgets and then sticking to that. I've seen a lot of people that will spend months and months getting bids and meeting with builders and then start the process and as they start into the process change what they want in the build and the budget that they started with is is completely destroyed, it's irrelevant and they end up just essentially building a custom home picking out stuff as they go, making changes, adding rooms, add this, put that in, upgrade this, and what a waste of time it was to go shopping for a builder based on price. They would have been better off to be out looking for a builder that was a great communicator, that had good systems in place to make those changes, and to be able to up, get updated pricing as they went along in a timely manner. A builder that maybe didn't have 15 other jobs going and, and could focus on their house to allow them to make the changes as they went along. There is a lot to consider when looking for a builder. Um, and, and every builder's personality is going to be very, very different. How they communicate, where they are at in life, you know, if you've got a builder that's maybe younger and he's got a family and five other jobs going, you may not get the response, the communication, and the level of service that you necessarily want as, as opposed to maybe an older builder who doesn't have kids at home, that has a lot of experience, that has a system in place, that has an office staff that's very, very efficient. And, and that builder, you may get a higher level of service. And when I say service, I don't mean quality product or, or nicer finished concrete. What I'm talking about is their ability to communicate with you and their subs and to put together good clear bids and contracts and and keep communication as crystal clear as possible through the entire build process and those are some of the things that i don't think that homeowners are necessarily looking for they're looking for a cost breakdown something they can get to the bank they're looking for any builder with a heartbeat because right now here in north idaho there's 
10 houses for every one builder. There is a huge demand and there is just not a lot of guys that, that are, are really home builders. And I myself would say that I'm not necessarily a home builder. I have been in years past, but, but currently I don't have this, the, the right systems built, the right alpha staff, the, the, the right system built to be an efficient, effective home builder where I could take on multiple projects and manage those. But I, but I know what that looks like. When, and so if I was, was going shopping for a builder for myself or to work with somebody, there are certain things that, that I would want to look for. And those are the office staff. I would definitely want to say, let's go to your office. Let's sit down. I want to meet your, 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 your staff, whoever it is that is going to be managing the paperwork coming in, managing paperwork going out, keeping um, invoicing moving, checks moving, and I want to see that you have a system that's, that's, that's going to make things go smoothly so that we don't have subs that are upset, so that we, we're not creating problems with the bank, that, that bank draws are happening correctly, that there aren't mistakes on draws or things that are going to waste time down the road. I would also want to get with subs. I'd want to see a subs list and I would want to be calling those subs and saying, hey, what's it like working for this builder? Does he pay on time? Does he take good care of you? How does he run his job sites? Is he there? Does he have a project manager? What is being on site with this general like? Or if, if you're talking to a builder and he doesn't seem to have, subs that he works with that might be an indicator that he doesn't take good care of his subcontractors that he doesn't pay his bills and that maybe that's not a general contractor that you want building your house but if you've got a general who's got a team of guys electric electrician plumber hvac concrete guys framers and he's happy to give you their numbers and and i understand that most builders are going to say hey i don't want to give you my subs because then you'll just call them but but that shouldn't be a problem if there's a team of guys that have loyalty and they work together frequently that you should be able to call and say hey tell me about working for this guy how long have you worked for him what kind of projects have you worked on what are the dollar amounts of those projects what size of projects has that builder been managing taking care of and overseeing those are the types of questions that you want to get into think of it almost like the dating game you need to be asking uh, a lot of personal questions not only to see how they run their business, but how they communicate and how that works for your communication style because not all builders and all homeowners are going to line up and get along. And so you, you've almost got to spend some time dating before you make a decision to work together on building a house because it's going to be a long process. You're going to have to make a lot of decisions together. You're going to have to do a lot of communicating and it's important for you to find the right builder that is a good fit for you in building your home. Again, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below and we'll see you on the next video.